I'm making here are in, I feel like I am here just like the trees or the frogs are here. And, and just like the frogs are expressing their frog nature as part of this environment, I'm expressing my nature as part of this environment. And um, it's very satisfying just to be here. It's satisfying to wake up in the morning here. It's satisfying to walk at night here. It's satisfying to just sit and listen. And um, I feel really fortunate. Okay, so now I'm at an interesting point because I have to decide what to do with these spaces. You know, I like, in the tree paintings, I like to... Uh, play with like background and foreground so that ultimately there either is no background and foreground or you can't tell what's the background or the foreground. So by the time these paintings are done, they're not so linear. They're more, uh, there's like more push and pull like even within the, within the trees and within whatever is the background. So now that I've kind of got the trees to look interesting, I have to decide what to do with this spaces between them was leaning up against that eucalyptus tree and I was basically just like praying. I was like begging God to show me how to finish these paintings. And, and the next thing I know, all my paintings started turning into tree paintings. I just came in like the next day and started l making these trees. And that was about, uh, it must have been at least five years ago. So the trees became like a big part of what I do. They're not exclusively what I do, but they always, I might go for like six months without painting any trees, but I always keep, I always come back to them. And the really interesting thing about them for me is they're pure total abstractions, but they have a referential viewpoint. So you can look at them and almost everyone will look at them and see that they're trees, even though of course they're not really trees, they're just abstract, but there's no end to them. There's, there, you, can, you can never, you, you can say, I'm going to stop here, but you can never say, this is done, or I couldn't do more. I mean, I could turn them from white trees to black trees, back to white trees, back to black trees, put in all kinds of layers of color, texture, scraping, dripping, grind them down, build them back up. There's no end to, you know, what you can do with them. So they just become very um, reliable for me as a place to always know that when I don't know what to do, I can always do trees. And they're all, and, and they're all different, like no two tree paintings are the same. <laughs> 